what is up? Garrett McCouch is coming back again for another game exhibition. This time, looking at Dragon's Ascent. The Atari Age Homebrew by, by Todd Fermansky for the Atari 2600. Very decent dungeon crawler, and we'll be taking a look at it right now. A little bit of gameplay. Alright, let's get started. So here we have a prime example of a dungeon crawler in the homebrew community of Atari. So the storyline is, legends speak of a labyrinth created by the dreams of an immense and ancient dragon. The maze is filled with the promise of wealth, power, and danger. An endless length of corridors with specters and monsters appearing out of thin air and strange happenings the deeper one ventures. You are a young dragon yourself, perhaps trapped here, perhaps tempted by the wealth and the power that drives your kind. Regardless, you have little choice but to find your way through the sprawling rooms of the labyrinth, searching for glory, or even escape. Very good story. And uh, depending on what mode you choose, you can have a set maze or a randomly generated one. Let's go with the, uh, the default. Alright. So right now I'm at two hit points, represented by the yellow color. Uh, once it's red, I think that's only one. And I just collected a heart power up. So this is these rooms. Uh, they generate. They cycle through three power ups or, or pickups. Um, and I just lost the health there. Uh, one is the heart, which I picked up, gives you an extra hit point. Uh, one is a lamp that gives you more fire attack power, and the third is just a crystal that gives you more points. Um, I'd recommend the uh, the first two. That rhino head is kind of tricky for an early enemy. All right, so so we also want to collect keys or one key per level that unlocks the next one. There it is, and uh, the walls, much like the game Berserk, they also hurt you. Also get um well some of these enemies are a little bit of a pain right now. Some of them are dumb as a post like that one. Now we come to uh, soon we'll be coming to the uh, the shadow dragons who are invincible and uh, I think they also make the room dark. Where the only thing that can light the room is your fire attack. All right, now we're on to level two. I think what triggers in the Shadow Dragons is how long you take. And, uh, come on, eyeball. Yep, let's say. Um, also, um, that guy just teleports around the room. There we go, attack power. Now, enemies, they usually take two hits. Now they only take one hit to kill. Whoop. Couldn't quite aim right. Yeah, it can only ha fire horizontally. Well, yeah, what can you do with one button and one joystick? Make the most out of it, that's what. <laughs> yeah, what are you looking at? Gotcha. You teleport to where you are, and that can throw, you, that can uh, catch you off guard if you're not ready for it. Where's the key? Yeah, very decent game this is. Um, oh, I guess we already had it. All right, now this is the furthest level I've made it to. So far, no Shadow Dragon either, but once they show up, look out. They, uh, they chase you, 
And uh, once they show up, no other type of enemy spawns in it. It'll be only them. Whoop! That guy's also a pain. Alright, there we go. Should be a little easier now. Whoop. It looks like a scream mask uh, spinning around. Very mobile and very also has good attack. I figured I'd do this while I had a night off, and um, a lot of weird things going on right now. Oh, see what I mean? Pretty much all the same powers you have, aside from uh, advanced movement patterns. Also replenishes your your power attack. Whoop. Let's say Shadow Dragon, I presume. Nope. What? What the hell is that? Oh, that. Huh. Well, here we have the box for Dragon's Descent, where um, we have that story I was reading earlier. Very good. Very good screen caps very enticing if this were actually at the store nowadays. <laughs> at least I think it is. That lettering. I don't know for a fact if it's uh, truly ACDC's font, but the resemblance to it is unmistakable. <laughs> anyway, here we have the manual. Some more of the story. More in depth. Malabros, huh? Wow. Malabros himself. You can pause that and read if you want. Randomized mazes. Keys. And, uh, and the, uh, the manual. Very glossy manual, very good quality, and um, it's really a lot different than they used to make back in the day. In that regard, do that or age just hasn't been good to them. <laughs> yeah, I can even even uh, replay random mazes. That's a pretty good treat. More in-depth look at the enemies. Fiery Eye, Medusa, which is the dumb one. The ghost, I haven't seen them yet. I don't know if I've seen a... Uh, don't know if I've seen another dragon or not either. I've seen the shadow dragon. Bosses, very mysterious. Why do they always have to be so mysterious? And a different different scoring matrix for di the different levels. Hmm, I didn't even know the there were that many levels. Made by Todd Fermansky and Fred Quimby. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Todd. Here we see the random maze generator. Presume. Hmm. All right. Yes, it is. All right. So There we go. 
Now where is the key? So anyway, I um, figured I'd show this off while I had the chance on a night off. Um, other than that, I've been trying out a... I've been on a Crash Bandicoot fix. In fact, I might show off... I might show off Crash Team Racing, the original game, soon. For a little bit of cut mode. Just a little, bit of, a little bit of word for upcoming attractions. But yeah, in closing, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good dungeon crawler, and uh, not to downplay like the legacy of games like Adventure or um, or anything like that, but. Um, Certainly come away since then, even if it's on the same system <laughs> over 40 years later. Anyway, yeah, great game. I recommend it. This has been Garrett McCouch's Cummings. Another gameplay. Till next time, keep on gaming.